Okay? So, may screen share ako sa inyo, no? Ayan. Our topic for today is strategical, strategical management, okay? Is total quality management. Tingnan lang natin kung ano yung concept ng total quality management, guys, ha? Okay? Now, let's look at this one. Why is it important for entities to observe total quality management? Okay. Now, guys, no, not all companies observe this. However, those visionary companies who look after okay, their mission and vision, they usually uh, use total quality management. Now, what is the importance of total quality management? Now, this is important for identifying problems of the company and acting upon those problems, which results into constant improvement. Now, when an entity is engaged in a business, hindi naman pwedeng profit lang yung nasa isip nila. They would want na isipin then how the entity could be of service dun sa mga customers. And along the way, there would be problems. A lot of problems may arise. And ano ang dapat na magiging response nila? They should have, they would improve their, themselves, the processes and other things that pwede pang improve. Okay? When you talk about total quality, it's the full package, not only the quality of the product, but as well as the quality of the services the employees are giving to the customer. Okay. Now, what is the benefit of observing total quality management? Now, of course, when you identify a problem, you know the problem, you give solution to the problem, then therefore problem gets solved as soon as detection. Now, some companies na hindi nag gumagamit ng total quality management, na kapag may problema, uh, they would assume na it would uh, be resolved by themselves. Pero very, ano yan, very seldom mangyari yon. It's because pagdating sa uh, growing companies, lots of problems may arise and you should, or the management of the entity should address those problems. Now, it is also used so that magkaroon ng X or there would be uh, customer satisfaction. Okay? There would be or they would exceed the customer expectation. If a customer expects just to receive the product, but they are happy because of the services, okay, as a result of a total quality management, it is highly probable that the customers will come back and buy from the entity. Okay? Now, and also, this would be a lifestyle for the entity. Hindi, ang TQM, hindi siya yung, ay tara, TQM tayo today, then tomorrow, cancelled na, wala ng TQM. When you do total quality management, is it is a day-to-day -day basis. Araw-araw yun, you identify the possible problem, then you address the problem, so that hindi na siya lumaki. Therefore, kapag nagkaroon tayo ng TQM, it is all always accurate that there is always continuous improvement. Continuous improvement not only dun sa product, again, continuous product sa services, continuous improvement sa processes, sa documentations, lahat ng pwedeng i-improve. We are not, or the entity is not just concentrated or focused on the product, but dun sa total package of the company. Okay? Now, how about the implementation? Okay. Of course, if, a, if an entity would like to do total quality management, there should be commitment. They should be committed in delivering superb services and products. Okay? Hindi ito pwedeng ano lang, uh, short time. Na okay, uh, hirap pala mag-TQM, ayawan na. If you use TQM, you should be committed. You should be committed in solving the problem and addressing the problem when the time needs, needs so. Then there is a participation of top to bottom management. Okay? 
from the top, syempre, they will be leading the TQM. They would, um, they would foresee kung ano yung results na they would want to achieve and relay it to the rank and file employees. And the employees should respond to this movement in following or strictly following all the guidelines and all the procedures the entity has laid down. Okay? Kailangan ng teamwork dito. Hindi kasi pwede from the top management sinabi, okay, we would like to um, decrease the amount of customer uh, customer reports pagdating sa products. So how how will we do it? Okay, of course, babalik ka naman dun sa manufacturing. Kasi kung sa product yung may problema, then therefore, some features of the product is causing problem for the customers. Okay? Paano naman, for example, what if a customer okay, buys a product which doesn't fit the need? Okay? Bumili siya ng product pero mali. Kanino kayang kasalanan yon? Possibly, the fault is on the sales. Possible, hindi in-explain kung para saan yung product and uh, what would be the best uh, scenario in using the product. So therefore, kung hindi yun na plan siya or hindi na-orient yung sales or yung sales personnel, there would be a miscommunication. And again, if that happens, there is a possible, uh, it is a potential problem, therefore, the entity should look up. Okay? Then it also involves constant planning, guys. Constant planning. Nagplan tayo ngayon, ano nangyari? It, was, it, was it effective? Uh, did it address the problem? Nasolve ba yung problem? If not, ano yung possible alternative pa natin? Continuous yun. Kasi nga, continuous improvement, continuous din na planning yan. Okay, tingnan natin if this will work. If this works, then okay, problem solved. If not, ito ulit. Try pa natin itong isang ano, possible na solution. Okay? And of course, at the top of the head, priority is customer. Now, you are improving all the facets of the entity, all the facets of the organization, not because in your mind, you're going to produce profit. We, also, we already know that customer equates to profit. The more customer or the more satisfied customer you get, the higher the profit it will be. So therefore, this should be uh, the priority or the fuel for TQM is the customer. We look at the customer. If we do this, are we going to satisfy the customer? If we do this, do we add value not only to the product but as well to the service? Then therefore, if we talk about TQM, this is talking about the customer as being the priority of the processes that we are going to need. Okay. Now last slide. Sample of total quality management. Okay. We have our standardization. Okay. ISO, kung ano, na, baka narinig nyo na to, Interna International Standard Organization. This organization makes sure that there is a standard for every processes or any process, whether manufacturing, documentation, customer service. Now, ano itong standard? <laughs> there would be a minimal requirement or the minimum service satisfaction Kumbaga, there would be a benchmark. This company, uh, et, sila yung nagsiset ng standard. Sila yung nagsiset ng uh, benchmark. Now, if a company receives, okay, receives a certification from ISO, ito yung mga naririnig nyo na ISO 9000, ISO 9001, Mga may mga number, the higher the number, the better. Kasi mas ibig sabihin, uh, nakaka-comply sila dun sa pinakabagong standard. And usually, kapag may standard na pinafollow ang isang company, I will say, or I may say, na me medyo strict sila when, when it comes to that practice. 
For example, when we when we talk about standard in food, okay? Uh, for example, no, pag kumakain kayo sa isang restaurant, may kita mo that their service is superb. Hindi mo may kita yung daliri nila nandun sa may pool mo. Kasi that would, uh, that is not the standard quality of serving the food. May kita mo na meron silang tray talaga, then when they give the bowl of food, to the customer, walang hand or walang hair na napupunta doon. Okay? Mukha siya no-brainer, no? Pero pagdating kasi sa practice, every set of standard, very detailed checklist yun. Okay? Very detailed siya na the company would follow the standard so that, or so they believe that this standard, if they follow it, they can achieve value for the customer and it will continuously improve their processes. Another is yung Six Sigma. Okay? This Six Sigma, makikita nyo to, there are a lot of companies or um, consulting companies who offers Six Sigma. Uh, para tong karate guys, ha, meron tong mga belt. Yellow belt, blue belt, black belt. Okay? Uh, the higher the, ano, kunyari, nag-black belt ka, meaning, uh, may mga standards ka na usually na ginagawa or the entity is observing already. Yung mga, for example, um, how do we usually increase the profitability of a company? In a very, ano, very easy way, uh, you can decrease the expenses, increase the revenue. Okay. Dun sa revenue, sa sales department yun. Pero when it comes to the employees, when we are, uh, sabihin natin, no, we want to increase the profit by mini minimizing expenses. Andiyan yung mga pagtitipid ng kuryente. Uh, during break time, pinapatay yung mga ilaw sa office since naka-break time naman lahat. Or, for example, um, computers are put into sleep pag hindi ginagamit uh, so that there would be a low consumption of energy. Uh, the use of LED lights as compared to traditional lights. Uh, mas mababa yung wattage, therefore, mas mababa yung consumption. So all of this, all this to both standardization and Six Sigma, is sample of total quality management. And these are widely used by industries today. I hope with that, you have learned something. See you next meeting. Thank you, sir. 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 Bye, guys. Thank you, sir.